Hello there, Libra, and welcome to your Oracle messages. I know you want some answers about your situation because, hey, look at this, Libra. You guys are the first ones in this series to get your Oracle messages. And I know you were the last one last time. So, oh, someone from the past is returning. Okay, Libra. Oh, you guys might have even felt rejected or some of you Libras could have um, rejected someone or, listen, Libra, it could have came off as a rejection okay there's definitely someone from the past here returning to your life okay yeah some of you guys there could be a sense of real forgiveness and coming together when we've had a situation where one or the other felt rejected okay but um open your help open your heart up here uh, libra spirit wants you to trust what's going on here okay so yeah some of you libras either you felt rejected by someone or not good enough or vice versa here and you're gonna find out exactly who and what is coming it is someone from their your past here so some of you guys just don't try to think about it too hard because i mean it literally could be anyone from your past i mean you could have met them and passed by. Maybe, you know, there was some flirting, but it didn't go any further than that. Maybe it really is someone from the past. You guys kind of know. But whatever it is, whatever it is, Spirit is saying to trust, okay? So let's see what else you need to know about your situation, Libra. And Libra, whenever the video finds you or you find the video and it resonates for your situation, then it's meant for you. What else does Libra need to know about someone coming up from the past here? Let's see, Libra. Oh, oh, boo. That's what I'm saying, Libra. R-E-S-P-C-T. You like how I sing? Because I really can't sing. Uh, respect, okay? I, I feel that there's something going on here where, wow, maybe someone from the past here Maybe they've seen you from afar or, um, you know, maybe from some type of, you know, distance with one another. There's been some earned respect. So, yeah, I feel Libra. There is a situation where we've got a true mutual love and respect for one another. OK, I feel Libra. There's something about you um, getting what you deserve. OK, truly getting what you deserve. And also, I feel that there's something here where spirit is saying, you really are appreciated. Your your efforts are being um, watched and appreciated by spirit as well, okay? Let's see what else you need to know about your situation here, Libra. Hmm. What else does Libra need to know? And also, Libra, this is a general reading, okay? So if you find the messages don't resonate for you at all, check your moon, your rising, or your Venus signs, or feel free to check out past messages if you feel like it, okay? You can go to the playlist tab as well and check out other messages. You need to wait. Don't rush into, oh, 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 oh. Let go of control issues. Allow it to unfold naturally. You, you Okay, so Libra, I know that this might be a very challenging thing to wait, right? Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. There's something going on here, okay? Some of you Libras might be tempted to control a situation or maybe even control your own self here, but you need to go with how you're feeling in the moment, okay? You need to act on how you're feeling in the moment, don't be afraid of something and don't be too uh, worried about the future. Now, when something is happening here, I mean, look, we do have this thing about respect. So I feel this is about taking something slow here too with someone and just allow nature to take its course. <laughs> okay. Let's find out what else you need to know about your situation here. Oh, we do have a sense of, oh yeah, we got something about forgiveness here. So Libra. Someone from your past is returning. You know, I was getting this big thing about you either felt rejected by someone or someone felt rejected by you. I don't know what the level of degree it is because it is a general reading, but, you know, we have a, a tender embrace, okay? We do have sweet forgiveness, okay? So I feel, Libra, there's something turning around for you as well. Um, maybe there's a long overdue, um, you know, an apology that's coming your way. But either way, I feel that you are um, being gifted a situation and some type of awareness and enlightenment to really let go and to let love in. Okay. So 
someone really respects you too, Libra. I'm getting like um, chills about this. I feel that there's something that you stood true for yourself and it's been... I feel like whatever you are doing here, there, there's something strong about you really getting the respect you deserve. What else for Libra? There could be something significant with um, tattoos or a sleeve here with you or someone, okay? Um, but just take that if it resonates. It will not resonate for all of you. I just felt like pointing that out. Yeah, we got, we got something going on here when it comes to true love, true romance, okay? Um, a spark. Now, remember, Libra, what did spirit say? This, this, there, there's something about, I don't know why I want to say this, this time around, take it slow. You don't need to rush, right? Allow nature to take its course. You don't have to force it. Now, some of you Libras, you might get really excited here, okay? But just wait. Enjoy it. Bliss. And allow it to take its course, especially when it comes to romance what else for Libra? Yeah, it's going to be safe for you to love Libra. Okay. Your angels have heard you. And also, you know, there's something here with paying attention to what's gone on in the past here. Because for some of you Libras, you may, you just may, you know, hesitate when it comes to someone here. Because there may, there may have been something where we was, we, we were challenged by rejection. Okay. In some facet or for some of you, you know, uh, we're just trying to protect our heart here, but, um, spirit is saying someone is in the midst here and it's coming very, very soon, if not now Libra. And so please, I mean, these angels are like Libra, Libra, pay attention, please open yourself up to this. Okay. Open yourself up to this. It's safe for you to love. And by the way, Libra, you know, you, you do deserve to receive the highest energy of all, okay? Because I know we felt, you know, the lack of it, right? So it's time for you to allow nature to take its course and enjoy this. What else for Libra? Yeah, for yourself, it's time to take control back of your life. I feel that there's something strong, Libra, with allowing yourself to express yourself the way you need to. Some of you Libras, you're being asked to change something up in one's life so that you're not feeling restricted. So some of you Libras, you may need to make some type of room, okay, to have conversations, to connect, okay? Now, some of you, I'm seeing a situation where, you know, I'm seeing this um, unicorn is tied up by their, on their neck here. So, you know, free yourself. Don't hold back. Okay, Libra, you are being asked to just honestly discuss how you feel, okay? You don't need to prove anything. Just remember, this is about just honestly and going with how, you know, with going with how uh, nature is taking its, its course is just be able to talk freely and don't hold back is what spirit is saying. Okay. Because some of you Libras, just remember, I'm telling you this, you might hesitate. Okay. And when you have that in your awareness, then push through that. Okay. And open yourself up. Because I feel for some of you Libras, it's 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 time to have this heart to heart conversation, heart to heart conversation with someone from your past, okay, or your past life. What else for Libra? purpose. Yeah, you absolutely know what you're here to do. So I feel a lot of you Libras, your love life is being influenced by your purpose, your higher calling. And a lot of you Libras are shown and you absolutely do know what you're here to do. Now, some of you Libras, spirit is saying it's going to be safe for you to trust what's going on, especially when it comes to the things and messages and guidance you're getting about your purpose and know what you're here to do. Okay. Let this be the forefront of your focus right now and everything else is going to fall into place anyhow. So look at you, Libra. I feel that you really are on your high horse <laughs> with much respect. I mean, I'm seeing like priv privileged man or woman here. Okay. Because they've earned it. They worked uh, to that position. Okay. Um, I'm just talking about this whole thing with respect. Yeah. You know what you're here to do. Look at that. <laughs> yes, Libra.
What else? Family. I feel that this is uh, this is like Ten of Cups energy going on here. I feel that there's something strong with you guys having a strong foundation based on what feels good and what feels like family, okay? Don't hold back. I, I just get, keep getting this thing that this is like your, your tribe here, okay? Now, some of you Libras, you know, you could be having a blended family or create a family, uh, whether it's just you and your partner, um, little ones, furry ones, whatever it is, um, there, there's something strong about you knowing that this is the right one and the right situation, okay? So I feel that um, there's a future family aligned, whether this is, you know, bonus family, uh, friends that become family, because we are uniting with the right situations that's going to create a strong foundation for you. And I do see that for a lot of you Libras, family is really important right now and the feel of family. This is why Spirit is saying it is time to take control back um, of your life. Now, some of you guys, are you being controlled by family or traditions that don't serve you or your purpose here? Okay. Cause some of you, you may need to really, uh, release that, um, and take control of your life and not be afraid to do that. Okay. Or find help in order to, um, you know, let yourself, um, be strong because I do feel that there's something for some of you Libras, regardless of what's going on, we might be hesitating on how we want to fully express ourselves. Okay. What else for Libra? Yeah. Look at that. It's safe for you to love and fear just came out here. Okay. Don't let fear hold you back, Libra. Okay. Some of you Libras, you know, we're afraid to get hurt. You know, and when you're not willing, if you're not willing to take a risk on getting hurt, then you're just going to cut yourself from um, getting, you know, having that fulfillment that you truly deserve and want. Okay. There's nothing for you to fear anyways, Libra. Uh, so some of you Libras, you might be a little scared with something or someone. Now for some of you too, there could be something strong about something going on. Um, I don't know why I'm picking up nine of swords type of energy too. So I'm getting Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's get a little bit more with this um, fear card too for you. Because I keep, I keep getting this message that it's like family for you, Libra, okay? Let me get a little bit more with this fear for Libra. Yeah, I'm, okay, listen, um, Libra, this is what Spirit is saying. Whenever, when, whenever fear starts to arise, you need to just really put effort into this and imagine those unwanted thoughts dissolving into the light, okay? Create room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. I mean, there's something here where, you know, we've got to give up something in order to um, make room for something, okay? So... You know, some of you Libras, the only thing that's holding you back is just taking action on something where you know to take action on, or, you know, for some of you Libras, we might just be letting those thoughts, um, you know, just run wild when, um, you know, we can just assert ourselves <laughs> and just be aware. But yes, I know that there's something strong when it comes to maybe fears or hidden fears, um, but this is a secret here that you can try to utilize as a tool for right now, okay? What else for uh, Libra? <clears throat> because Libra, there's something about um, not repelling what it is that you're actually, um, you know, wanting the most here. What else for Libra? Be aware of what you're projecting for the qual. Oh, I almost said something about this. So Libra, I do feel, okay, I'm just going to, I know I stopped reading this for a second, but I was going to get something here about, you know, whatever you are doing will mirror um, with someone as well. So uh, listen, be aware of what you're projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Okay. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. 
So Libra, let's just switch something up here anyways. Just be aware. That's all you need to do, okay? Because I, I get this sense that there's someone that's mirroring you here, okay? What else for Libra? Yeah, a willing release, Li Libra. Be willing to release something. Now, for some of you guys, when it comes to some type of past hurt with someone, you may be asked to really release what has gone on so some type of new situation can form between you and them, okay? But in general, we are releasing something, right? We're freeing ourselves, a willing release so that new things can enter, okay? Um, new possibilities. Believe in miracles also, Libra, okay? What else for Libra? This one wants to show itself. Okay, using your intuition in all aspects of your life. See, there is something going on with indecision. We're trying to figure something out, right? And I know at times it can be hard to listen to your um, intuition in all aspects of your life, okay? But, you know, you guys are knowing what it is that you're here to do. I'll get a little bit more too with this indecision, um, getting more air sign coming through. Friendship, look at that. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Wow. So again, with something about, you know, feeling like family, I'm getting real, like a, a sense of six of cups here. So there's something strong about friendship, right? And we're starting things slow and allowing things to take its course. So some of you Libras just might find that, um, yeah, we want to keep things maybe platonic and allow it to build, whatever it is. You need to trust, though, that there is some type of support and uh, friendship on the horizon if you're not feeling like that, okay? Now, some of you... There may have been something here with a friend, right? Comings and goings of connections and what they are here for us in that time in our life. So I feel that a lot of you Libras are finding a sense of completion and understanding when it comes to the comes and goings of connections, friendships, lovers, whatever's going on here. But Libra, <laughs> there's something about you guys really feeling um, strong and secure with some type of friendship here. They're there for a reason. Let's get a little bit more with this indecision uh, for Libra. I use my intuition. So let's, let's get a little help with this indecision and intuition for you for Libra. Whoa. Okay, well, should I take these ones? No, I'm going to take these ones, though. Love yourself first because, yeah, oh, my goodness. <laughs> you got to love yourself first, Libra. Mm -hmm. Because this situation does involve some type of marriage, commitment, um, taking a trip together, maybe a honeymoon for some of you guys. <laughs> but your self-respects make you, makes you more romantically attractive. And you know what, Libra? I feel that's exactly what a lot of you guys are just doing anyways, naturally. I mean, look, we even have this thing about respect, okay? Respect. So when it comes to indecision here, um, Spirit is saying there is a future commitment on the horizon. So, you know, make your decisions accordingly when it comes to um, your purpose. Also, when it comes to not doing things that... Um, take you out of integrity of honoring and loving yourself okay taking time for yourself when you need to as well there could have been something here for some of you libras learning how maybe we gave too much in the beginning or we gave just gave too much um and we didn't we had some type of blurry boundaries in some aspects of our life. And so I feel that there's a, um, a sharper and clearer image when it comes to, or it will, Libra, um, you know, having clear boundaries here, okay? That's healthy for you and healthy for others as well. What else for Libra? And also, Libra, this, you know, loving yourself and doing things that make you feel good about you is also helping you release and forgive um, anything that needs to be uh, released here. 
Oh, I just was talking about that. Wow. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment moments. Let's get a little bit more, too, because I feel like there's another card that wants to come out with this forgiving and learning, which I really get judgment card here, too, because I feel there's a, a beautiful um, rising up and awakening happening. Oh, yeah, Libra, you guys, there, there's someone who is definitely um, connecting with you on an intuitive level, too. I feel a lot of you guys are feeling this or picking something up. Um, someone I feel Libra really wants to ask for some type of forgiveness, okay? I, again, I don't know what the level of degree it is. Um, it could be something that you had for a long time with someone. It could be someone in the past by. We could have felt rejected. You know, all these different kind of stories. But listen, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is deep as the ocean. There, there's a, like almost someone's just like asking, like really asking for forgiveness. Like I'm bending knee here for some of you Libras, okay? So Libra, I feel that you are going to be tested and challenged when it comes to really letting go and um, trusting and believing, okay? Um, but it's gonna be worth it for you, Libra, because I feel that you've done what you needed to do um, to maintain a sense of respect and integrity for yourself, and it's all paying off. Now, someone really is thinking about you, okay? I mean, someone from your past is returning to your life, okay? And again, for some of you guys, it's a strong like um, past life too. Whatever it is, or you, you, you're, you're feeling something anyways, Libra. Okay. What else for Libra? Oh, I forgot to read this card over here too, Libra. Um, look deep within. We were just talking about that. Yeah, someone is like really um, wanting, oops, wanting to, you to know that their love for you is like eternal here. Okay. Let's see. What is this? Yeah, look at this. <clears throat> We've got to practice being in the moment, okay, as much as possible. Do things that can help you, um, you know, get in tune with your physical senses as well. But look at this. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So you're attracting a situation towards you right now, Libra. Okay, so there's nothing you need to worry about. I feel a lot of you. Oh, I forgot to go back to these. Yeah. Highly, um, highly attractive um, energy is going on here. Now, just remember that emotions are a natural and necessary part of life. Okay, but Libra, they can also distort your distort your perception and cloud your vision. Okay, so in order to see things clearly, you've got to work on or let go of resentment. Okay. Oh, I feel some of you Libras, there, there's something strong with um, letting go of what had happened here. Um, so that we can really come to um, uh, a reconciliation here, okay? So whatever you, you're doing here. Now, when you're doing things that help you stay in the moment and lifts your spirits and your mood, you're naturally, by doing that, easing up and letting go of resentment too, okay? Now, some of you, this is your confirmation that you are doing a damn good job of letting go of resentment, and I'm seeing you guys really come into your own and radiating, okay? So you are... Um, highly, highly powerful right now. Believe that. And yes, you guys are um, attracting some type of strong sexual union as well. So honor the place in one another where you are one, one inter eternal soul. I was just talking about some type of eternal love here, Libra. Yeah, looking deep within your heart, you're going to feel my love. My love for you is deep as the ocean. You're going to find your true bliss, so don't worry, Libra. Okay, true bliss, true love, a beautiful sexual union here, honor and respect for one another. Because you've done a long journey, Libra, okay? And I feel like this other person here that's coming into your life has done one as well. And you're ready. And what else for Libra? Health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Yes, Libra, I was just getting this thing about not doing things that take you out of alignment here, especially with indecision that has to do with your healing, your growth, your health, 
your balance, okay? Maybe that some of the new things that you're trying to implement and maintain those boundaries, continue to do that. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul, Libra. Yes, you are. And you're figuring this out because you guys know what you're here to do. You have a strong purpose that is guiding you and it's hard to ignore. Yeah. What, what's also a part of your health is, you know, you can't always expect truth from others, but you can expect it from yourself. So do the things that you know to honor yourself, right? Start making those changes or choices or being aware of what's really going on. Because I feel, Libra, that there has been something going on here, right? That, um, you know, especially when we felt rejected or there may have been some dishonesty at play. You can always expect honest, um, an honest situation from yourself, okay? And as you start really solidifying this and making this your, you know, foundation, you're only going to get that back, okay? So of course, Spirit is saying, take care of your health, take care of what's going on with you because you're coming into a situation where we have um, reciprocity and honesty, Okay, let's see. What else for Libra? Your goals, Libra. Yes. Ooh, we got Capricorn. So we got Earth energy coming through here. So I feel that this is about really utilizing your time wisely too, Libra. So some of you Libras, <clears throat> there may be something here which is focusing on priorities right now. Um, is it your health? Is it nurturing yourself? Whatever this is, some of you, um, yeah, it's like use the most of your time focusing on what you're getting, or excuse me, focusing on things that are, that's giving you guys real results here. So I do see some type of effort and work and diligence here as well. I feel some of you Libras, when it comes to money or work, um, you guys are really on target here. Your, your efforts really are paying off. Okay. Now I do see a strong sense of, um, someone having um, Capricorn placements in the chart, whether it's you or someone that you meet, okay? Um, let's see, what else? What else for Libra? Yeah, there, there might be something here with rules too that some of you Libras may need to reassess or realign some new rules, change them up or get rid of some rules that you have that could be actually keeping you guys trapped in some way. Okay, so take that if that resonates. What else does Libra need to know? Because I really get justice card coming through Libra, which is you um, coming into this sense of uh, your power, feeling empowered, being honest with yourself and others and allowing this a situation to really take hold here when, when it comes to a very strong and honest foundation and look we got the world card yeah i feel there's something strong with a lot of you guys um getting recognized for some past efforts here or your your efforts that you're doing right now so we've got congratulations on successfully accomplishing what you set out to do i know for sure libra that there's um, a big indicator of you guys um, completing and having some type of strong foundation okay so yeah, the world is your oyster too for a lot of you Libras. You've made it through the challenges. See, you have made it through the challenges and incorporated the lessons. You know, I'm really getting judgment card here because I do feel a lot of you have incorporated past lessons. You're, you're really integrating things that are absolutely beneficial. Has it been challenging? Absolutely it has. Now listen, you've made it through the challenges and incorporated the lessons life offered you with grace and courage, okay? So this is your time to really bask in this achievement and bask in a, a sense of, you know, accomplishment and success. So yes, you guys have a whole new world ahead of you with a lot of wisdom and experience that's going to go a long way. And I'm seeing this... Um, this dog um, up on a pedestal here, right? What do, what were we talking about with this respect, okay? And I'm seeing you on your high horse here too, look at that. You're on your high horse, whether you're male or female, okay? 
getting the respect you deserve because you do deserve this and you are ready. You're absolutely ready. We we're talking about completion here too. So a big indicator of successful completion, okay, in one aspect of your life or multiple. Congratulations. Because you are um, doing and accomplishing what you um, set out to do. And it is your purpose. Oops. What else for Libra? Oh, the signs are cautioning you. What's going on? I mean, it, oh, and this landed right on the fear card here. Okay, you got to stop. Okay, the signs are cautioning you and warning you. Some of you guys, you might be manifesting things really quickly um, as you start to think, oh my gosh, I got like coffee grounds. Oh my God, that's coffee grounds under my nails. <laughs> that's not dirt, but sorry, Libra. Ooh, I'm going to have to clean those out. Okay, well, anyway, now, now it's a little bit cleaner. Anyways, sorry. Caution. Okay. Something is cautioning you guys. Um, I feel that again, you guys might be manifesting or getting signs um, and indicators right away showing you stop, stop, stop thinking that or stop doing that. Okay. Let it go. Right. You've got to give in to um, allowing something to happen naturally here. Okay. What else? It's important right now to take a step back. See, signs are cautioning you here. Spend some time alone, Libra, and don't be afraid to do that if you need to. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to what? To give to yourself because Spirit already was talking about that with the loving yourself. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Loving yourself, right? It's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is a time to give to yourself. You know, we've got to be honest when it comes to our own health and what we really truly need, okay? And what we need to do. What else? You guys, oh my gosh, I told you, don't fear this. Oh my goodness, true love. Libra, this is going to be a romance of a lifetime. And by the way, we do have romance, okay? And Spirit is saying it's going to be safe for you to love. This is true love for you, Libra. So get out of your head. Get back into your heart. Enjoy life. Quit taking things so seriously. Some of you Libras, it's like I'm seeing you really narrowing in on one specific thing that you're thinking about. And it's like you can't stop it. So you got to stop it. Okay. Go out and have fun if you need to. Switch, switch something up if you need to. Okay. But um, yeah, this is a romance of a lifetime, Libra. Okay. What else for Libra? Okay. That's it for those. So let's find out how spirit is helping you, Libra. How is spirit helping Libra? Oh, <laughs> let's see. Eight of summer. Hmm. It's kangaroo. It's the eight of cups. You feel okay. Listen, listen, Libra. <clears throat> This is tied into that unrequited love too. But anyhow, you feel that there's more to life than you're uh, living. So it's time to move on. You may be moving from a situation that isn't good for you. See, this is... The Oh, never mind. I was kind of getting like six of swords type of energy. Never mind. Sorry, Libra. <laughs> Anyhow, you may be moving from a situation that isn't good for you, or perhaps you're becoming, or excuse me, you're being drawn to what would make you happy. Either way, you're in control. Listen to this. Listen to this. If you guys are moving away from things and entering into new things, you're merging into a new reality. You're merging into a whole new world here. Okay. Things are completing itself. So yeah, you may be moving from a situation that isn't good for you, or perhaps you're being drawn to what would make you happy, but either way, you're in control, right? Remember, use your intuition and in all aspects of your life right now, Libra, okay? Spirit is helping you guys move on to better things and better situations for oneself here. This card just fell. What's this? And we got the Eight of Cups. Okay, listen. Listen, Libra. Spirit is saying, 
Just start giving thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Absolutely, there's something and someone better for you. So just start giving thanks for it now because you've been heard. Okay, Spirit's helping you guys um, get what you really deserve because I feel a lot of you Libras have done the work that you need to um, to get the respect that you deserve. And now it's time for you to not hold back too when it comes to being strong and confident in how you want to ex um, express yourself, okay? So Libra, I hope that was helpful. Love and light. Take care.